The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Lord says in Matthew 12, verse 29, Or else how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods except he first bind the strong man? And then he will spoil his, his house. Hallelujah. Lukewarmness is a strong man in the body of Christ. We're going to bind that spirit. Hallelujah. Lift up your right hand. Say, you strong man of lukewarmness. Prayerlessness. I'm coming against you. In my life. In the body of Christ. On the earth. I bind you. Say it again. I bind you. Come on now. I bind you. Say it loud. I bind you. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to bind that strong man of lukewarmness. Bind. Start with yourself. You spirit of lukewarmness, prayerlessness, weakness in the flesh. You are not praying. In Jesus' name we pray. Look. Satan comes to you when you cannot pray. When you, that's why he's afflicting the earth with sickness. Afflicting the church with sickness. Killing pastors. We're going to kill him in the name of Jesus. Say, you spirit of affliction. Remember, one of the things the Lord promises us, he says he will undo them that afflict us. Say, you spirit of affliction. Spirit of lukewarmness. In my flesh. Hear the word of God. The Lord says he will undo you today. Be undone by fire. Be undone by the blood of Jesus. Be undone by the power of the Holy Ghost. Clap your hands and pray in tongues. We undo you by the word of God, by the blood of Jesus. Ah! Beyond on, you spirit of affliction, strong man of lukewarmness, we bind you, we cast you out. Pray, pray that prayer. Hallelujah, Kade Papa, Kade Kesent, Rekosi Kade Baba, Prako Shukra Baba, Prako Dek. I refuse to be lukewarm. Makode de Keseke de de Kade Papa, Kade Kose Kade Baba, Makoro Pako Sent de Baba, Prapa Papa Baba, Prapa Papa Baba, Prapa Papa Baba, Prako de de Kase Kade de da Rekoso Poko She Kade Baba. In Jesus' name we pray. It's embarrassing that the church is just talking about vaccine and this. And it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing that coronavirus can enter the church and kill Christians. Today, we want to refuse that insult. Clap for the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Say, you strong man of destruction on the earth today. You strong man of prayerlessness. You arrows of prayerlessness in the body of Christ. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ catch fire. Die. Catch fire. Die. Catch fire. Die. Catch fire. Die. Open your mouth and pray. Refuse to be insulted. Why would the devil come to you and kill you? Makoropoko se kade de kase kade de koropoko se tere de ropoko she kade baba prako de de kade pako de pako de pako de de kase kade baba kade kasanto. Enough of lukewarmness. Enough, enough of sleeping, watching TV, committing sin. Satan, the Lord rebukes you. In Jesus' name we pray. Lift up your right hand and say, Satanic agents in Namibia, 
in Africa assigned against the church, against our prayers, hear the word of God, die by fire. They want to kill you, they must die. Amen. Says satanic agents, witches, wizards, principalities, powers, false prophets, rulers of the darkness of this world, hear the word of God, enough is enough. Die! By the fire of the Holy Ghost, clap your hands and kill them. Stop. Come on. Jesus says, This sign shall follow them that believe. Says, In my name, cast out demons. In Jesus' name we pray. The Lord says, These signs shall follow them that believe. He says, In my name, they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. If they eat any deadly thing or drink any, it shall not hurt them. They shall pick up serpents with their hands. Papa, could they take a saint? Why is the devil casting us out? Say, Oh, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Renew my strength. Renew my anointing. Physically, spiritually, emotionally. I'm coming against you, Satan. I bind you, Lucifer. In the name of Jesus. Spirit of coronavirus. I bind you. Spirit of death and hell. I bind you in my life. In my family. In my church. In Christ's love ministries. In the body of Christ on earth. Hear the word of God. Enough is enough. Die by fire. Clap your hands and kill it. Do warfare against these things. Prakudikisinti sintetide. Prakudikasika de baba. Prakudikisintura baba. Rikushika de baba. Prakudikasika de baba. Prakudikasika de baba. Prakudikasika de baba. In Jesus' name we pray. You're going to take this song. It's also a warfare song. Jump out. Jump out. Because you see, if that strong man has already established himself in you, you need to push it out. However you pray and say, oh Lord, I, I, I want to be anointed. I want, that thing is already there. That's why Jesus says, you must first cast out the the, the bind the strong man. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God told Jeremiah, look at Jeremiah. I want you to, to understand that these demons are already established and they need to be shaken out. I say they must be shaken out. They must be shaken out. Ah, hallelujah. They must be shaken out. Jeremiah chapter 1. Let's go there. Let's go there. Let's go there quickly. Hallelujah. I don't know, my Bible is too soft. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Don't worry, I will get it. Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 10. Let's read it together. I want you to lift up your right hand and read it. See, everybody say, see. I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out, to pull down, to destroy, to throw down, uh -huh. and then to build and plant. Before you get a new anointing, we need to root out the old one. That old one that is full of cockroaches, you need to vomit it out. That strong man that has captured you to just lust and sin and sleep and eat, you need to root him out. Hallelujah. The Bible says the kingdom of God does what? Suffered violence. And the only the violent will take it by force. Hallelujah. So you see, God told Jeremiah, first, you, you need to know that there is something in those nations that you must possess. 
there is something that is already established in the body of Christ or in your own body, in your own heart, that needs to be rooted out, to be pulled down, to be destroyed, thrown down, and then you can build. Clap for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Say jump out, jump out, jump out, jump out. Now I want I want everybody to hear that song. If you don't know it, say, say jump out, jump out, sing it. Jump out, jump out. <laughs> this is warfare. Say, jump out, it will not go. Hallelujah. Look, we are deliverance ministers. Amen. We know we have to force demons out. Amen. You should have been here last Sunday. You know, we waited after the service. We had to force something out of one sister. And it went. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, jump out. Jump out. Sing it. Jump out. Jump out. With force. With force. Uh, I don't see the force. Jump out. Jump out. Let me hear you. Jump out. Jump out. Uh -huh. Louder. And more forcefully, jump out. You, you, are, you are looking at yourself, that sleeping spirit, slumber spirit, that sickness, that poverty, that, that low self-esteem, that lust, that demon that is keeping you, that, that, that wants to, 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 to destroy your anointing, that wants you to be like a foolish virgin. You need to root it out. Jump out, jump, aha. Uh -huh. Jump out, jump out. Again. Jump out, jump out. Reject it. Jump out, jump out. Uh -huh. Evil arrows in my body, jump out. Evil arrows in my body, jump out. This, this is a song that we take care of so many evil things. Slumber, sickness, sin, curses, they must jump out. And if you are there and you are, you are singing like a lady, something can jump from somebody and jump into you, so you better be violent. Jump out! Jump out! Jump out! Jump out! Evil arrows in my body, 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 jump out! 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 Lift up your right and say, In the name of Jesus Christ, evil arrows of lukewarmness, of sicknesses, of death, of evil curses, of poverty, of, of, of coronavirus, hear the word of God. You are going to jump out of my life, of my church, of my family, of this nation, of Africa, of Europe. Of the body of Christ, of the answer, I command you. You are jumping out now. 
by the fire of the Holy Ghost, open your mouth, command these arrows to jump out and go back to hell. Let them go back to hell. Let them go back to where they came from. Enough is enough. Oh, yes. Arise, O oh Lord. Let your enemies be scattered. Forgive the iniquity of the church. Forgive all our unrighteousness. Forgive our sins, Father. Let these evil arrows be judged today. Let coronavirus be judged. Let the earth be free. In Jesus' name we pray. You know, pray for leaders. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to First Timothy quickly. They need to also be delivered. Hallelujah. Pastor says something which I've always, always said at home. Why are they saying the same thing that is not working? Every day, the same story. You know it's not working. And you are fooling yourself and fooling the people. The Lord rebukes Satan. First Timothy chapter 2. I exhort therefore that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. For who? For kings and for all that are in authority. That we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. The reason why they are repeating the same lies is because they are not saved. Hallelujah. And they are not saved because you are not praying for them. Hallelujah. All we do is complain about them. Let us pray for their salvation. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Here and there, we hear that one president is saved. If one can be saved, all of them can be saved. There is no one that God created that they cannot save. Clap for the Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just the church is not doing the right thing. Lift up your two hands and say, Abba, Father. We have, our understanding is now open that we should pray not just for all men but for our presidents for our kings for those in authority that they may lead that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life Father all the men in this world that are in authority mm-hmm whether they are in leadership position, whether they are presidents, whether they are husbands, all the men, all the people in authority. Deliver them by fire! Clap your hands and begin to pray for them. They need deliverance. They need salvation. Father, save them. Because the Bible says when the righteous rules, the, the, the city rejoices. My father, we have seen nothing that are in charge of nations. We need you to intervene. We need you to save their souls. We need you to deliver them so that the nations can be free. Pray, oh. In Jesus' name. Open your mouth and begin to pray. They want to be saved, no problem. Please pray. (laughs) 
They don't want to be saved. No problem. Makoro poko de kaseke de de kaseka de ba 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 ba. The earth is the loss and the fullness thereof. I say, lift up your hands, O ye gates. Be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Let the King of Glory come into the earth, into the nations. Maka de 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 ko de ba ba ko de ko so ko de ba ba ko de ko so nto ra ba ba ba. Pra ko de de ke so nto ra ba ko she ka de de. Pra ko de ka se ka de ba ba. Pra ko de ka se ka de de. Ra ba ko so nto ma ko se ka de de. Re ko so ka de ba ba. Ma ka se ka de ka so nto ra ba ba ko de ke so nto. Ka de de ko se ka de ba ba. Pra ko de de ka se ka de ba ba ko de ke so nto ko se ka de de ka se ka de ba ba ko de ke so nto. Ha ba fa da ba ko de de ke so. Re ko se ka de de. Pra ko de ka se ka de ba ba. Ba ko de ka se ka de ba ba. Ma ko de ko so nto. Pre ko se ka de de. Ra ba 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 ba. Ba ko de ka de ba ko de ka de ka de ba ko de ke so ka de ba ba ko de ke so nto de de. Ra ba ko de ke so nto. Father, you are the father of the fatherless. You are the husband of the widow. You are the one that bring your name is righteousness and justice. Pa 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 ko de ke sent. You are not praying. You are not praying. God says, "I want my people to pray and ask for justice." We want justice. We are tired of dying. We are tired of seeing people die. We are tired of coronavirus. Arise, O God, and save the earth. Pa 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 pa. Pra ko de de ka se ka de pa pa. Pre ko se ka de pa pa ko de ke sento. Re ko se ka de pa ko de ka se ka de pa ko de ko sento. Pra pa pa ma ko de de ka de ka de pa ko de ko se ka de pa pa. Re ko se ka de de. Ro pa ko se ka de de. Pa ko de ka se ka de de. Pra ko de pa ko sento. Me ka sente de de. Ra pa 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 ko de de ka de pa ko de ka de ka de pa ko de pa ko de pa pa ka de ka sento. Re ko se ka de pa 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 ko de ka sento. Pra ko de ka se ka de pa ko sento. Re ko se ka de de. Ro pa 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 ko de ka sento. Pra ko de ka sento. Ro pa 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 ne ka se ka de de. Ro pa ko se ka de de. Pra ko de ka de pa ko de pa ko de pa ko de ka sento. Ka de 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 de. Ka de 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 de. In Jesus' name we pray. I will like to lead the prayers tomorrow. I will lead the prayers not just for our children, for our families, but for nations. In the name of Jesus. So be here tomorrow. We don't have time to pray the way I believe we should pray. Come here tomorrow and let us pray. Clap for the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> I want you to lift up your right hand meanwhile and say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command the heavens over my head, over my family, over this church, over Christ love ministries, over the body of Christ, over this nation, to receive the blood of Jesus Christ, to receive the fire of the Holy Ghost, to receive the power of God Almighty, to judge the principalities, the powers that want to overcome, that want to rule the heavens of our lives, in the name of Jesus, clap your hands and call fire. The heavens over my life, over my head, over my family, over this church, over the nations of the earth. Receive fire. Aha. Uh -huh. In Jesus' name we pray. Say anything planted. Louder. Louder. In my life. In my house, in my room, in my toilet, in my kitchen, in, in, my, in my living room, in my, in my yard, in my car, in my place of work, 
in the heavens over me to make me sick, to make me lukewarm, to destroy me. Right now, receive the judgment of God. Be destroyed by fire. Clap your hands and destroy the destroyer. Anything planted. You altars of darkness, catch fire, die. In our rooms, in our homes, in our food. Let Namibia be too hot for coronavirus. Let our lives be too hot for COVID-19. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I wish we had time to pray. But Father, you are the Lord God that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we may ask or think. Arise, O God. Let all your enemies be scattered. Do I hear amen? Amen. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. We give you the glory. Thank you, Lord, for the word that you have sent to us today. The word that we should humble ourselves. Humility of heart. That we might repent and that we might be useful to you in the kingdom. We receive that word with thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Pray, O Lord, that you will continue to bless your servant that has blessed us this morning. Thank you, omnipotent God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Can we clap for Jesus and give him praise? Uh, clap for the Lord. Amen. Let the pastors please come up quickly. As we read 1 Corinthians 11 for the Holy Communion, pastors, elders. And when he had given thanks, 1 Corinthians 11 verse 24. Everybody say he gave thanks. Come on, say he gave thanks. 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 Clap for God the Father and give thanks. Amen. When I say clap, I mean clap. Amen. That's a thanksgiving clap. When he had given thanks, he, he break he break it and said, Take it. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. And after the same manner also, he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, Whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the lost body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep, that is, they die. For if we would judge ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. Praise the Lord. I mean, that explains why we say, take the cup, take the bread, and wait. Amen. Verse 33 says, Wait for each other. Wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't just take the bread and cup and just stand there. Wait on the Lord. That is, be praying. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord, the Lord says, as often as we eat the bread and drink the cup, we, we are showing that we believe 
that he came and died for us. Clap for the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> verse 26 says that. And then, wherefore, verse 27, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. You know, the Lord began to caution me and say, we take this communion every Sunday. People can just begin to take it for granted. It can just become a mechanical thing. No, every time you come to the communion table, you must think of what Jesus did for you. You must think of how he died and bled for you on the cross of Calvary. You must think of how your sins are now being washed off. How your body is now being healed. How every provision you need is now being met. Hallelujah. That is the meaning of don't eat and drink unworthily. Don't eat and drink without faith. Without thinking of Calvary. Praise the Lord. So when you take your cup, and you take your bread, and you are standing there, you are looking, you, you close your eyes, and you begin to see the nails in the hands of Jesus, the nails in his feet. You begin to see the, 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 the water that, and blood that was coming out of his side. You begin to see how he was wounded for you, bruised for your iniquity. How he's beating, the beatings, the stripes he received are healing you. Clap for the Lord. Hallelujah. Don't just take it and stand there. You must meditate on what he has done for you. It says, let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Examine yourself. Do you really believe? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you really believe that this is the body of the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah, or his blood that has been shed for you. Do you believe in it? Because if you don't believe, then you just eat and drink for nothing. You become weak, sickly, or even die. You have to believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I believe in Jesus. That's why we are going to repeat the special number because I think it speaks of what the Lord was speaking to my heart. Amen. It says, examine yourself. You really believe that Jesus, by the virtue of his death and resurrection, has saved you, has healed you, has delivered you. Do you believe in him? Hallelujah. That's why I always encourage people, when they call me, be up. I say, don't call me. Please. Hallelujah. Enough is enough. Begin to anchor your faith in Christ. Hallelujah. Yes. Not in people. Not in prophets, in Christ. Hallelujah. Stop fooling yourself. If your faith is not in him, if your heart is not, you know, in what you say you believe, you will never get the result. Because the Bible says you believe with your heart and then you say it with your mouth. So your heart and your mouth must be together so that you will not be condemned. Hallelujah. It is a sin... You see, to come to the communion table casually, without faith in your heart, without thinking of what the Lord has done, it leads to condemnation. It says you don't design his body. You don't understand what he has done for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I want you to lift up your hands this morning and say, oh Lord, I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died and rose again. I believe that you paid all the price for my sin, for my iniquity, for my unrighteousness. You paid for my body to be healed. You paid for my sins to be forgiven. I thank you. And I believe that this is your body. And this is your blood as you have enacted it. I believe that you, have, you are standing here. You have the power to heal me. And the grace to forgive me. I give you praise. Lord, you have heard our confession. We are lifting up this table before your throne, Abba Father. Bless it. Let it become the flesh of the Lord indeed, and his blood indeed. And Lord, let everyone that partakes in this communion this day be, be forgiven, be delivered, be healed, 
be set free, be blessed. Above all, let everybody receive that consciousness. Let everybody know that of a truth you are real. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless and sanctify this table with the precious blood of the Lamb. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's begin to come forward and make sure as you stand there, you are thinking of Calvary. You are thinking of that blood that is flowing for you. That body that was broken for you. You are receiving your healing. You are receiving your forgiveness. You are receiving the mercy of God. And I want you to also think of the whole earth at this time. That the blood of Jesus is being poured. Don't just stand there. Be praying. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I believe in Jesus. I believe you are here now. Believe you are here now. Stand in our midst. Here with the power to heal now. Because every time we take the communion, we renew our covenant with him. We renew our strength in him. Say, so I believe I'm being healed. I believe that lukewarmness is no longer my portion. Yes, I believe that my prayer life is coming alive. I believe that every curse is being broken. Tell him what you believe that he's doing for you. I believe that poverty is no longer my portion. Joblessness is not my portion. I believe I'm set free. No more bad dreams. Thank you, Lord. The Lord paid it all. He said it is finished. And so express your faith. Because without faith, we cannot have anything. Hallelujah. 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 Children, are you praying? You're not praying. You're looking at me. I want you to pray. I want you to pray because you are blessed children. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. You know, I, I had a testimony yesterday about the Holy Communion. This man was thrown in jail unjustly. I won't tell you the details, but he said he was in jail and they were keeping him there and uh, he saw that people were dying in that jail and then he asked somebody who brought them food to please bring him some cookies and Fanta. Hallelujah. And then he called all the people that were in the cell with him and said, I don't care whether you are a Muslim or whatever, I want to talk to you about Jesus Christ what he did for us on the cross of Calvary. If you can just believe that he died for you, you will come out of this jail. That this man, they, have, they broke the bread, they did Holy Communion together. The following day, they were released. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the power of the Holy Communion. His blood was not shed in vain. Never take Holy Communion without faith in your heart. You must discern what he has done for you. Thank you, Jesus. So, based on that testimony, it's not just that you can be healed. It's not just that you can be forgiven. You can have any breakthrough. Open your mouth and tell the Lord what miracle you want him to do in your life. In two minutes, we don't have all the time anymore. Tell the Lord. No more lukewarmness. I want your presence. I don't want to be sleeping when I should be praying. No more sinfulness. No more bad dreams. No more bad luck. No more curses. No more evil attacks. I'm claiming the total victory of the cross of Calvary in my life. I claim my miracles. Not just for me, but for my children and children's children for this church. For the body of Christ, Lord, we are, you gave us this instruction 
And you told us we should also remember the whole earth. We believe that your blood has been shed for this whole world. Hallelujah. That sinners might come to you. That the body of Christ might be revived in the name of Jesus. That the sicknesses and all these evil viruses might die. Your body has been broken. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we may eat and drink together. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We give you all the praise. As you eat and drink, just begin to say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Give him praise. We worship you. We bless you. Thank you for forgiving all our sins and iniquities and healing all our bodies. I want to thank you for remembering, oh Lord, once more, the whole world. That your blood is flowing in every corner of the earth right now. For the forgiveness of our sins and for healing all our bodies. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we are grateful. Amen.